G'day guys, just, just want to do a quick video here on how to tie a few basic knots, some usable knots. Uh, it's more so for my students that I teach how to uh, tie these knots in various courses I instruct and so they can refer back to this and uh, be reminded. So first knot is the bowline, it's a really handy knot. One thing about the bowline is you can't tie it in a rope that's tight, you need to have the rope slack but it's just to tie something on to a to the side of a truck or onto a tree for an anchor point or various other uses. The good thing about the bowline is that no matter how much load you put on the rope, it can be undone. So first things first, you've looped your rope around the the uh, the trailer on this case, and you've got your running end and your tail end. You make a loop in your running end, make it inward towards, so it's facing across towards your tail end. You take the tail end, you go down through the loop, around the running end, and then back up the loop the way it came. It's got to be alongside where it came from. And then it's just a matter of pulling it tight, and there's your bowline done. Now the good thing about this knot is you can, as I said, you can put as much weight on this knot as you like. And I've tested this, you'll see this in one of my other videos where I test Telstra rope. I tested this knot to the point where the rope broke. So I tested it right to the breaking strain. And then afterwards, I was still able to undo this knot. To undo the knot, you simply just push this down and it loosens the knot and you can undo it. Now one variation that I like to use pretty often to make it even easier to undo is when I tie the knot down through the loop around the running end and back up I only pull a bite through the through the loop and then pull it tight. I'll leave the tail end dangling back through like that so you can grab that tail end, pull it and the knot's loose. Good to go. When you're doing your bowline one thing to note to get it right because a lot of people stuff it up and they can't figure out why it depends which way you make this loop whether you make it over that way or over that way now the point you've got to be aware of is when you go around with this this needs to hold this running end against this piece running across here not pull it away from it so if I, if I come up through the loop and around it it's just going to pull it away so you need to make sure you go down through the loop and around it and up. So it's essentially pulling the running end against itself when you tighten it up. So if I was to make my loop this way, if I go down through the loop, I'm just going to pull it away. So in that case, I need to go up through the loop, around and back down and tight. Good to go. Right, uh, the next knot I'm going to do is an alpine butterfly. Now, the good thing about the alpine butterfly is you can just tie it anywhere along a piece of rope. You don't need to have the end to tie the knot. So how to do the alpine butterfly is just have it dangling over your hand like this. You take the running end around behind your hand and over the top. And then you do that again, another loop. But this time you bring it down between those two pieces of rope. Those two first loops, you just have the, the running end dangling down here. Then you take the one on the right, you take it across the other two, and then you tuck it in behind. And then you pull that section out, you let go of the, the loops with your hand, and that's your, that's your little loop that you've made. And that there is an alpine butterfly. Now the beauty of the alpine butterfly is that Again, with the bow, bow, like the bowline, is you can undo it after you've loaded it up with lots of pressure. You can just break the knot like that, and then it comes loose. The good thing you can do with an alpine butterfly is you can use that to make a rope ladder. So you make a series of these loops, obviously a little bit bigger loop that you can put, put your foot, foot into, and that's your rope ladder. The other thing you can use it for is just to make a loop somewhere on a piece of rope, so then you can bring another piece of rope along and and tie onto that piece of rope. Um, it's a nice strong knot. Uh, don't quote me on the percentage 
with the breaking strain of the rope that it is, but it's quite a strong knot, similar to a bowline or a figure eight knot. So that's the alpine butterfly. Just to show you again, you take it over your hand, round behind your hand and over, round behind and over your hand again in the middle, take the one on the right, across your hand, in behind the other two, and out to the right. And there's your alpine butterfly. Right oh, no. the next knot I'm gonna go through is just the good old truckies hitch. You need to just imagine that there's a, a load on your truck here. You've taken your, your rope over the top of the load through this eyelet over here. And you want to get it nice and tight and hold your load down. So you take your, your tail end and just lay it over the top of your rope like this. And then you get it a bit smaller here so you can see. You take a bite out of this bit, your running end, you pull a little bit of slack up, you take your, your running end that's coming over the top of your load, you make a bite and you twist it one, two, maybe three times. Then you take this bite that you've got and you poke it through there. And then while you're doing that, you take your tail end here and you pull that tight. Now essentially what you got there, let me untangle it there, essentially what you got there is like a three to one. When you're pulling down there, you've got one, two, three times your effort pulling the load down. And that's where you get the tension. So you pull that as tight as you like and you won't pull this knot undone. Once you've got your rope that far, you can just do a basic couple of half hitches, a little double half hitch on the bite so you can pull that undone easy. Another half hitch on the bite, and you can pull that undone as well by just yanking that and then just yanking that and your rope's loose. see that again so you come over the top of your load through your eyelet pull most of the slack out of it dangle your running end over the top of your uh, what do you call that I guess that's the running end you dangle your tail end over the top of the running end crossing it over you pick up a bite of your running end from within the loop, you take a bite of your running end from above the loop, you twist it over twice or three times, you poke your bite from within the loop through that little eyelet and then you pull your tail end tight. You pull that as tight as you like. There you go, there's your truckie stitch. Hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like and subscribe and there'll be more of this sort of stuff coming. Cheers.